The truth of Mr. Beast is finally out. Which truth? Let's find out. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Wa alaikum salam, salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Do you want to know something yes. incredibly surprising? A man who is very famous and has a huge fan base yeah. because of his cute smile and attractive appearance was exposed, which revealed that a secret beast lurks underneath his sweet exterior. Today, we're going to reveal the darker side of a person who is known as the king of YouTube. We're talking about Mr. Beast. Yes, the YouTuber with over 318 million followers. Yep, he's um, the YouTuber with the most followers of all. Like, he even did beat uh, PewDiePie, yes. He has the most followers. And, like, I'm actually wondering what is his monthly revenue? It must be insanely high, subhanAllah. Million followers, the largest subscribed YouTube channel, is facing a 54-page lawsuit. Five female participants from Mr. Beast or Jimmy Donaldson's upcoming Prime video show, Beast Games, have filed a 54-page complaint against him, posing a major challenge to him. This lawsuit has put the much-awaited series at risk and threatens both Amazon and his production business, Mr. Wow. B 2024. The lawsuit claims that a deliberately maintained environment of sexism and misogyny was experienced by the contestants. Disturbing okay. allegations include claims that participants were underfed and overtired, with okay. meals being given only rarely and posing a health risk. Further claims point to incidents of gender-based assault and a hostile work environment. Wow. In addition to the claims made in the case, Donaldson was also charged with racial discrimination since. According to the thumbnails of his videos, very few or no black people were shown Impl oh now th now that this is mentioned i've noticed that now too yeah okay there's like one person okay there are also very few asian people right um okay now now that this is being pointed out i can actually uh, confirm this i have seldom seen this and and if there are people of color they're often in the background but i don't know if this is really intentionally done or subconsciously or but this was a toxic work environment. I, I've heard like rumors before. This was like, wasn't this like one or two years ago where someone already claimed that? Like there was like this one guy that made a video against him and he said um, he was not paid and he was um, getting a, a mission from him to actually edit some, some videos or something, right? And he was promised a payment and he did not get paid. And then when he was actually done with it and he has shown it, then the team of Mr. Beast said, no, we're not taking it. And at the end, they actually took what he did or were inspired by his work and they did it the same way. And, and, and he also filed, I think, a lawsuit. But this was, I think, one year ago, if I'm not mistaken. Because there was a guy apparently working as an editor and he did not get paid or something. And he also made a complaint since according to the thumbnails of his videos very few or no black people were shown implying that he did this on purpose for thumbnail optimization Whoa. so if we summarize all his accusations we can say that he is accused of gender-based harassment and biasness huh. overburdening of work and mistreatment wow. of people by denying them basic necessities such as <coughs> food that and medicine and racial discrimination in order to attract more followers his dark passion for fame and money which has little to no concern for other people is hidden under his charming and innocent appearance he must have released numerous videos with the topic of giving hearing aids to the deaf or oh, helping the video. blind see again but it appears that the whole purpose of all these videos to was just to show his on. audience how kind and compassionate he was because when we take a look at the lawsuit filed against him, he only appears to be worried about himself and his career. The West accuses Islam of being the root cause of all evil, yeah. but here we see a seemingly very kind and the most successful YouTuber, native of a Western country, earning millions of dollars, exposed yeah. to be a greedy and oppressive person. Islam is the solution to every issue that humanity is facing. We as believers are commanded to be gentle and kind and treat everyone with respect. Respect. Uh, but we need to point something out. Those are accusations, right? Unless they are proven to be a hundred percent true, we have to also be a bit careful about claiming something about an individual, because this is very dangerous uh, in Islam to say something bad about an individual, like Mr. Beast in this case. Also, for example, if we don't have the clear evidence, 
Um, there was once a very, very disturbing and sad story, for example, about Aisha Radilahu Anha, where she was uh, accused of cheating. Billah. And at the end, it actually turned out this was not true. But um, we have to be very careful when it comes to like, slandering uh, people, like making them look bad in public and stuff, especially if we're only 50-50 sure about something, right? Like those are s just accusations. So so the law, the law, the law case, like the, the whole th process is not over and we don't know the outcome. I mean, just look at, for example, in the past, like Johnny Depp, for example, everyone canceled him. He was kicked out of Hollywood, right? No longer he was doing the movie Pirates. And th at the end, it turns out he was innocent. And there are like so many people that they get accused when they are famous and they're often innocent. There are some people, I'm not denying it, that actually did something bad and they get punished and they deserve punishment. So, so if this is really true, and he really did this bad stuff here, of course he deserves punishment, right? But what if he's actually innocent and those are just claims? Because this happens often to like famous people, right? And some of them are true and some are not, but we, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't like drop the gun immediately and say, oh, you're guilty. We don't have the full evidence yet, right? So we have to be very careful because this is also a big sin in Islam to accuse someone, just like I said with story with Aisha Radilahu Anha, or about someone, for example, like there's actually a punishment even in the Sharia if you accuse someone of something, like for example, you say, oh, someone is a uh, adulterer, let's say, right? And then you have no evidence, you actually get a... Uh, you get hit. Uh, you get hit with a lash a couple of times, right? Because you accuse someone without evidence. So this is actually forbidden in Islam. We have to be careful and not accuse someone of something unless there is a clear evidence and the case is, let's say, over or we really get a hundred percent proof for, for this, right? So yeah. Regardless of the other's race, it could be true. Status, I'm not saying it's not gender, true, but we have to wait success. and see, right? Narrated Aisha that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Indeed, among the believers with the most complete faith is the one who is the best in conduct and the most kind to his family. Yeah. People mistreat others for a variety of reasons, but one of the primary ones is that they are so consumed with material things like fame and yeah. money that they lose all concern for human beings. Islam not only." commands us to be compassionate and kind, it also forbids us to attach our lives to worldly treasures, True. as all of them have even less worth than the wing of a mosquito. Yes. Sahal ibn Sa'ad narrated that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, if the world to Allah was equal to a mosquito's wing, then he would not allow the disbeliever to have a sip of water from it. Yeah. Dear viewers, do not be fooled by this dunya. Do not be fooled by such YouTubers who claim to be the nicest man and assault and abuse others while the video is not recording. This expose of Mr. Beast's hidden nature demonstrates that there are thousands of other such influencers who are simply deceiving their audience. We are here in dunya for a much bigger reason which is to earn a position in Jannah. Yeah, and these shows and films Ibadah. are hindering your journey. Yes. May Allah guide us all to the straight path that leads Ameen. to Jannah. Ameen. There's something I want to add. So what he said here at the end is so true. We have so many distractions. People are copying and following so many on, for example, TikTok and Instagram. Some sisters are being led astray by women that actually show the hijab in a very attractive fashion at design um you have brothers that are doing a lot of haram actions and people think oh this is so cool you have this islam hip-hop rap and stuff like that right i would be like, like we live in a time of a lot of distraction and it's actually very difficult to always stick to the straight path so may allah protect everyone and keep all of us on the straight path i mean and yeah we have to wait for the outcome of of the mr beast case but i think it's disgusting if this is true and if it's really true he deserves punishment of course but i i wouldn't drop the gun on someone un unless there's like a full clear evidence and the case is over because like i said look at the past johnny depp for example is a good example of someone that's innocent and that's being accused and even lost his career partially because of that so yeah may allah keep everyone safe i mean and if you guys are new to this channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content and i will see you guys next time inshallah